FM 88.1 WHPR, Highland Park. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. FM 88.1 WHPR, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live streaming at FM 881WHPR.com. Past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight Sports Talk. No professionals here. Uh, thank you for joining us on Detroit Sports Jersey. Today is Sunday, April 4th. Uh, no, today's April the 8th. I'm sorry, 2000. It's Easter. Easter, yeah, happy, happy Easter. Happy yeah, Easter okay, Detroit. that's what I'm basically trying to get to. Um, the guru is out. Uh, we'll get off into that a little later on while he's out being fake and phony. And <laughs> sitting in his chair is I'm the one and only free agent. Was 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 good, uh, Detroit. Looking good over in that um, chair. When we get back, of course, you know, for my commercial break, we're gonna have to get off into the Lions opening weekend for the Tigers. Looking good so far. Of course, you know, Kentucky won the championship. Talk about some um, NBA Hall of Famers going. We'll see if they was deserving or not. Okay. As, you know, okay. To me, sometimes that Hall of Fame be suspect. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Just so, little you bit. know, we get off into that playoffs or whatever. So let's have a word from our sponsor, and we'll be back with the free agent. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800 5941 Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, thank you very much uh, for my sponsor, Well Card Health. And if you missed that information, like I said, we download the show, you know, at DetroitSportsJersey.com. You can go get that information from there. So, um, like I was saying, the guru is out today. Got the free agent sitting in. Once again, um, happy Easter to everyone. Um, have a safe and wonderful and fun Easter, you know. So what you got going on today for Easter, uh, free agent? Mm, nothing really. Chilling, eating a lot of food. Okay. I would ask Easter. you, would you want to come over for dinner? But you might say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say yeah. All right, <laughs> let's get right to it. Your tight. I mean, your lions. All field issues. Yeah. Sitting up there smoking like Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah. So what's going yeah, we, on? We gotta tighten up, lions. We gotta tighten up. Lashure getting popped. Nick Fairley getting popped. This yeah. other player who's um, offensive line that was also drafted in 2003, um, name escapes me, but it, it's irrelevant. But um, <laughs> do you think um, y'all got a big problem down there at Ford Field? I mean, should this keep you away from the draft, reevaluate your draft picks? No, we just got to get our veterans in there to, to straighten these younger players out. It's, it's mainly younger players. I That's mean, all. So we just got to, we just got to, you know, Basically, this might have some flashbacks of, you know, 2003, Charles Rogers. I no, mean. Oh, no. I mean. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Should y'all stay away from, you know, players that with, you know, shaky backgrounds? <laughs> that's in the draft? I mean. This ain't the type of, you know. Yeah, you right. You right. Lime like y'all looking for, you know, no, sitting back, blowing no. one. You know what kills me? I know crack is <laughs> with driver's license. How come these millionaires don't have driver's license? Well, they can't pass the test. I, I don't know. And these are supposed to be college-educated young men, and you have no driver's license, but you got an ounce and a pound of weed. Sitting in the back seat. Yeah, that ain't that ain't good. Lawyer fees, right. court fees. I mean, getting a driver's license and obeying the law is cheaper than all of that. 
Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, I think you got problems, free agent. I mean, you gonna have to go down there and um, the veterans. We going the veterans gonna have to come in well, and straighten them out. Uh, no, nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Roger right. Goodell gonna straighten them out with a couple of suspensions and no paychecks. Yeah, it, that that'll that's work gonna too. get their attention. That'll work. You that'll know, work. call in Lions fan if you want to voice your opinion, your concerns about your. Detroit Lions blowing one every day. <laughs> Getting caught. 313-866-8688. Call in. Let us know what you think. And once again, like I said, the guru is out today, which we ain't really missing him no way. <laughs> he's, he's out there being a fake bunny rabbit <laughs> looking for Easter egg. Call in, guru. Let them know where you at. <laughs> I don't let them know you coming in with your Sunday best on today. Ooh, the Tigers yesterday, though. Oh, the Tigers. Oh, yeah. Uh, opening uh, weekend. They 2-0 so far. Yeah. They Played the um, Boston Red Sox today again at 1. You think they're going to get the sweep? Yeah, it'd be nice. Oh. They need to open up with a sweep. Oh, my man. Fielder coming through twice. Yeah. Cabrera, too. Oh, yeah. Back to back. Fourth and fifth. They scored a lot of runs. Oh, pitching looking pitching. good. Yeah, it's looking so, good. It's looking uh, good right now. You still got them, what you say you had them at, about 100 games? Nah, 95. 95, 95. okay. 95. Well, I got them between 95 and 98, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Good. Well, there's 95 last year, didn't miss a beat, so. Yeah, they I think they can do it. You think uh, Philly going to give them any problems when it comes? Well, Philly, Philly got to get healthy first. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. What about the Yankees? They always there. Yeah. Oh, CC Sebastian. But we, but we handled them last year, didn't he? He got blasted. He but we got handled. Blasted. I'm, not, I'm not worried about the Yankees. We match yeah. up well with the Yankees. We match up well with any team. It's just. Well, you know how the Yankees is when they see another team about to run away with it. They'll go out there and make that big splash. They're going to have to do something. (laughs) (laughs) All righty. Then what about the Texas Rangers? You think they're going to give on? They're going to be strong. Now, that's that's a team that's going to probably give us problems. Yeah, they they, they really are the team to beat. They've been there twice. Yeah, back to back. So, you can't take nothing away from them. Right, you can't. That's who we trying to beat. So <laughs> you said that's who y'all trying to be. Yeah, that's who we trying to be. Okay, then. So I'm um, calling in 313-868-3688. Uh, we're going to get more back um, into the Tigers um, a little bit later in the show. Just like, the, you know, so far so good for them boys. Uh, Red Wings. I mean, they tapered off, but it's it's about to be playoff. It's playoff time now. Yeah, but, man, Nashville got their number, though. They got to play go to Nashville. You it's know, playoffs. Ashley, you know what? Ashley, they split the series, you know, three to three, but Nashville got their number basically at the end of the season. So, it's going to be hard for them boys. Yeah, it's a new season. It's most definitely a new season, you know. Yeah, yeah. well, we got to see. Nah, it's, it's How far you winner got go home? Going? You the cup. That, I mean, uh, you got them come going on, man. It's, it's either the, <laughs> you know, it's the cup or, yeah. or nothing here. Yeah, I love the Red Wings. <laughs> All right, let's get this we call in and cup. see what's going on. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it. Where you calling from? What's up? This the Longhorn, man. What's going on, Longhorn? Talk to us. What can we do for you today? I see y'all, y'all giving that shout out to the Texas Rangers. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, they that's, can't that's count who we're trying out. to beat. You can't count them out. Hey, uh, that's what we got points for. I tell you what, don't <laughs> don't think don't think the Tigers gonna do something because y'all got the Prince on the team, man. Oh, we got more that's, than just Prince now, right? I don't think I don't think Tigers gonna be up there this year. Man. I just got a feeling. Oh uh, man, don't you think. need to go. Who you think gonna go? Take it to Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Wait, you must have didn't see what happened yesterday. I think Longhorn is still a little dizzy from that whooping um, Oklahoma gave um, Chicago last Sunday. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I hey, think he's still know, a little, you know, a little shaky over there. Wow. <laughs> you know, hey, they turned around and lost to Miami, though. We'll give him one. I just got to make a couple comments on y'all last show, man. Uh, Nash going to Miami, it ain't going to happen. Oh, speaking of that, hold on, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm <laughs> glad you br- introduced that to the conversation because I was going to save that to the end of the show to tell the guru, 
and the free agent that they both were smoking with the Lions. Let me read you a little something right here. <laughs> Suns guard Steve Nash, 38, told ESPN <laughs> he's recovering from a lingering back injury and would love to sign a three-year contract with Phoenix or another team. Do you think Miami going to come sign somebody that got a back problem, 38 years old? Come on. They out there. Come on. Hey, they might. No, 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 I mean, no, no. hey, he's still playing Miami, good. Miami, Miami's too much running the gunning, man. He's, Nash ain't going to be keep up with Thank boys. you. He can't keep up with them 20-year-old boys. He doing it now. No, no, no. no he no. ain't keeping up with them. He keeping up with Phoenix. <laughs> He ain't keeping up with the Miami Heat. And you got talking about he, he, he keeping up with players like Grant Hill. Grant Hill on his side. Of course he's making it look good if you running down there with a 40-year-old together. <laughs> <laughs> of course you going to look like you keeping up. <laughs> I mean, they in the playoff, huh? <laughs> and another thing, they the, playing good ball. What you, you say? the 40-year-old man, you going to like Boat. You know, like you, that Olympic runner boat running down the court, man. And another point I want to uh, talk about, you and the guru, y'all talking about how uh, Derek Fisher went to Oklahoma. He's an old man, but y'all fail to realize one important thing. Derek Fisher is not chasing a championship ring. Steve Nash is. There go your difference right there. Okay. He just there to help. Steve Nash is chasing the championship Because he's 40 and he's trying to get one. Not with that lingering. I'm sorry. I don't see Pat Riley signing him. I can see it. No, I'm sorry. He a I'm point sorry. guard. I'm sorry. I don't see it. He a point guard. It. He's still one of the best he in the league. He's going to play every five games. He's still Come on, one I can go down there and still do that. Still one of the best in the league <laughs> at his position. Okay, not with that lingering back problem going hey, on 40. A, hey, he, so got, what other he, got, he got three years left. That's all he needs. So what other comment do you want to talk about last week's show, um, Longhorn? <laughs> yeah, we got uh, he's definitely not coming to the Spurs, man. We're not coming Oh, my playoffs. God. Y'all can have him over there. <laughs> no, no. We don't, hey, he we can keep up with – he can run and gun with Tim Duncan. <laughs> we, we hey, hey he could back up – he could back up – he could back up, Parker. The Spurs don't bring in old players. Why don't they? Because they old, man. <laughs> they, just, <laughs> they just brought in Steven Jackson. He we ain't young. Clinched, we already cleansed the playoffs, though, so we good. We don't need snatch. Steven Johnson ain't nothing about what thirty. He's still old. Oh, he ain't no forty. He ain't no forty <laughs> year old. older player. And Steven Johnson is a good player. I, too, I didn't, I didn't say know? he wasn't a good player. Yeah. I just said he said he did. They didn't bring in old players. He an older player. Yeah. Yeah, what thirty? Yeah, old, man. man, thirty old in the league. <laughs> well, well, hold on. How is thirty old and forties not? <laughs> <laughs> Do <laughs> you know how you sound? 30 is old in the league, but this 40 year old can jump around like he five. I mean, Nash, he didn't he don't go down there and bang like that. So you know for Nash, is he alright? But he got Look the running kid. gun. He's still out there. He got the running gun. Kid, kid is still out there doing the same thing. He's walking the ball up the court. <laughs> He's walking. Okay, Nash, he'll be, he can walk it up. That's my, that might help Miami. That ain't Miami game. That they might don't help like him. to walk. That plays into the other opponent's hands. Well, actually, they, that ain't even Nash game anyway, walking you know, the ball up they, the court. When they take that running gun away from uh, Miami, they're playing into the um, other opponent's hands, and you know it. You know um, what? i tell you what. Miami's not even my team. But if you bring Nash on their team, first thing LeBron and Wade going to look at Nash and say, what are you doing, man? Let's go. <laughs> he said, he say, let's go. Say, they going to let him be a point guard and he going to set him up. They down there waiting for the ball. He jogging up the court wow. with it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't, I don't think so. Mm, okay. Nash signing Miami, that might extend his career. I see him going to Boston. Danny Ang oh, like them old players. <laughs> I'm telling you, if he go, watch when he when he go to Miami. We don't watch. I'm telling you, uh, he's only going to Miami on vacation, bro. If exactly. he go to Miami, That's then they're they gonna be the favorite it. for real. What do you think about That's that championship really game need. last uh, Monday night, um, Longhorn? The championship gets Kentucky and uh, Kansas. yeah. Well, you called it right. You called the score when you said it's gonna be seventy. 55, you was pretty close. I was only it? eight points off. I know. So you yeah, have, that was close. Eight. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that's why they. the guru ball was like playing, playing the porch spread. You could have got a pop <laughs> from him. See, the guru, see, his problem is he want to be out be a fake Easter bunny today. <laughs> he going to pop up into the biggest church up here in Detroit. 
Like he really go every Sunday. <laughs> you know, he got, he got his Sunday best on. Oh yeah, he got his hickey freeman on, you know, he got his gators, you know, little Bossolini. <laughs> he said Bossolini. I don't think I don't think the goo I don't think the goo Hey, y'all, uh, y- y'all free agent. You know about Bossolini's and Stacey? Nah, not really. Show you how, I'm going to show you how fake the guru is in religion, right? He about to walk up in a uh, Baptist church with a watchtower <laughs> magazine. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, free agent. Let uh, the guru and uh, and Will School, you young young fellow on uh, Bossolini's and Stacy's, man, and, and, and Big Block Gators. You know what Big Block Gators are? Yeah. You know where City Slickers is downtown Detroit? Yep. All right, go down there and check out the Gators. All right, I got you. <laughs> hey, also, uh, yeah, man, uh, we used that well card the other day, man. So how'd it work out for you? Uh, significant savings, bro, significant savings. Okay. You know, it was easy with the Walmart. They put us in the system. It was it was, it was easy. It was easy. So uh, I'm on my uh, shout out to the well car. Let everybody know if they if they skeptical, don't think it works. Trust me, it works, and we had significant savings on that on our prescription bill. So that was a that was a. All right, appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, that. That's I used it the other day too, and saved me a few dollars. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, I think y'all uh, need to send it to uh, Steve Nash, man. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Nash. <laughs> All right. Tell him <laughs> Nash go to Miami. He might play for six more years. He might play till he fifty. Yeah. Okay. Hey, running with LeBron. You mean tell me? You mean tell me you you wouldn't play till you fifty if you was running with LeBron? Uh-uh. Hey, 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 man, hey, free I don't know. Free What's up? He's not going to be running with LeBron. He's going to be walking hey. with LeBron. LeBron, no, yeah, exactly. LeBron, LeBron going to be walking in my tears car and be like, thanks, but no if you, thanks. If you really look at Miami <laughs> team, that's all they really need is a point guard. Yeah. And you really, you take LeBron and Wade off the ball all the time. You put, you get him a point guard, they be, that's they it. I agree, but they don't that's need no it. 40-year-old guard, point guard that's with a back they problem. Need. Hey, they, that's what they need. Okay, okay. They need 40-year-old okay. with the back problem. <laughs> That's what they okay. need. They hey, need Nash. Got that on tape. Free agent said Miami needs. Oh, yeah, and that, that's, that's that, what they need. They got they got Wade, yeah, Bosh, that's and it. LeBron, but they need a forty year old player with <laughs> back problem. Okay, I tell you, if that's what they need, I tell you, Pat Riley and the coach need to be fired today. <laughs> if that's what they need, that's I'm telling you. They what. sitting up there with players, good um uh. Former Olympic players, three of them, and they ain't they three hundred million dollars. You seen you seen them on TV? Are they playing good? Three hundred million dollars. Are they playing good? You you seen them on TV? They need a forty year old. They need a forty year old back problem point guard. All right, I see you will never um, be the GM of an NBA team. If they get him, watch. I'm telling you. Hey, why don't they send him to? uh, Why don't they send him to the Pistons, man? Nah, uh, they don't, nah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> All right, Longhorn, we appreciate you calling he in. Might call pull a, in he might pull an Allen Iverson, he come here. All right, Iver, I, I, Iverson. Iverson, hey. look, oh my God. I said if he come here, I mean, <laughs> you saw what Iverson did. He came here, and next thing you know, he was gone. Oh, yeah, now nah, he wish he was back. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was back. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, y'all have a good one. I'm ready to go out and get my run on. Huh? All right, then, right. Longhorn. Thanks for calling in. Guru will be back next week. Yeah, all right, now. All right, later. Speaking of well, Carl, let's have a word from our sponsor, and we'll be back and talk more sports. <laughs> Oh,
affordable health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Thanks. Uh, we're back uh, once again, sitting in for the guru. It's the free agent. Good to have you on this um, Easter Sunday. Oh, yeah. Happy you Easter. Know. Yes, happy Easter. That's true. That's true. Can't wait to, you know, get home. Fiance cooking me a nice dinner today. Okay. Like I said, I would ask you to come over, but you might say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you be cutting into my seconds. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I might want to go back later uh, on and fix me a plate. Here you are, <laughs> <laughs> walking out full. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's um, get back into this NBA. What's going on in Orlando? I don't know, man. I they thought Howard and um, Stan Van Gundy was, you know, tighter than pantyhose, two size small. <laughs> what I don't happened? think so. <laughs> it I don't mean, seem like it to me. Yeah, I mean, he trying to get him fired. Now he's saying he ain't try to do it. Did you, you see that they get fake this? press conference they had? Oh, yeah, that, well, that was so fake, man. They Come showing on. off. You know, they showing off for the public. And then my thing is this: Stan Van Gundy. Granted, he ain't the Phil Jackson and the Pat Riley, but he ain't a bad coach. Who else do he want to come in? Who's gonna? Who's out there? He want to coach him. And if he didn't want to stay with this team for him to coach, why he didn't just leave? He won't feel. Oh God, he he can keep dreaming. He can That's keep, what I'm thinking. He can keep dreaming. That's what I'm thinking. Before Phil go to Orlando, I'm telling you, you he'll go to you New would, York you think, first. You think he you would think go Phil, to New York first? You think first. Phil wouldn't go down there to nope. Orlando? Nope. For what? For what? Dwight Howard. For what? What do you want to go down there for? He got a big man. All you need is another superstar. And what then do you, you, you want to go down got, there for? Are you serious? You could run a triangle. A triangle. Yeah. No, 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 no. Through Dwight. He would go back to New York where he started his career first and where he won a championship as a player. That's where But Phil Woodson got them boys playing good. And not only that, you got know. better players in New York. You only got one player know. in Orlando, and it's this big crybaby, Dwight Howard. That's who's the weak link. And so why? And I'll tell you another thing, right? Out of all the players, and I'm talking about the great players such as Mike and Kobe and Shaq that he coached. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they didn't have no tor turmoil, but he didn't. They wasn't whining and crying like him. So why would he go? You know, come out of retirement to deal with this. He don't appreciate. You know, I want to be here one minute, and that's I don't. He ain't got time for that. I you mean, know. So my well, thing is, he, okay, okay. What are you gonna come out of retirement for one year? Because um, uh, Dwight ain't signed no extension. He just gonna play out in, uh, through next year. He ain't signed no extension. So what Phil gonna do? Come out one year? He like to coach a player at least three, four years. I mean, that might I, make Dwight sign some more. Oh god, yeah, okay. You bring and, Phil in, and who's who else they gonna bring in? They got a, I don't know. G money. They already well, stacked Darren in Williams, New York. They, Darren Williams gonna might gonna be a free agent, but he wants to play probably what L.A. You he know, might go to Dallas though. You know, he wants you know get That's into the big down. market. Even though New Jersey, eh, whatever, you know, it ain't well, no New big Jersey, thing. they going to be in Brooklyn. They gonna, next year, so that's a. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I think I'm going to go with, uh, I would stay with Pat, I mean, uh, Phil. If I'm coming out of retirement, baby, only one place I can go, and that's New York, where I started my career and where I won me a championship as a player. Oh, no, I don't think so. So I want to mess up my career. Like Mike did when he went to the Wizards oh. to coach this clown down here in oh. Orlando. Is that what you telling me? Uh, yeah. Free agent, I thought you were smarter than that. 
You wouldn't, what? you wouldn't, you wouldn't like to see Phil what in, you need in Orlando. Chair, some of that idiocy of the guru sitting in this chair rubbing off on you. Nah, give me nah, nah, hen dog. nah, I'm just give saying. Give me tell hen dog to bring you in another chair. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you, that's the first. Cause you're smarter than that, man. Come on. I'm just saying. You, you wouldn't, know, you, you wouldn't like to see that. I mean, I, I'm seeing the free agent, but I'm hearing the guru. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <it's, laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is the problem I'm having today. I'm looking at that's, you. That's what I'm thinking he won't. Uh, I mean, that's when you think yeah, that's the ooh. problem. I mean, if it ain't no other coach, what other coach you know out there? That's what I'm saying. So why don't he just let the guy coach him? I mean, if you and don't, if he didn't want like the coach, why like would coach, you stay? I'm just saying, if you don't like that going. coach, then you must you must won't feel. Okay, if you didn't like this coach, why would you stay? Why would you stay? He's not gonna get Phil. I'm sorry. Three one three eight six eight three six eight eight. Three one three eight six eight three six eight eight. So why would he? Uh, why would he stay? Huh? Well, Orlando been putting players around him left and right. I don't know. He should stay. Nah. Who they got? Who they got around? Who did they go get? Please don't. Who did they go get? Come on now. Come <laughs> on. Who got, did they uh, get? They went and got Vince for him. Who? They went and got. <laughs> they went who? <laughs> who? Vince. Vince who? <laughs> Carter. There you, <laughs> there you go with them 40 year olds again. <laughs> um, oh my God. Uh, there you go with them 40 year olds I'm again. I'm just saying. Vince Carter. Hey, hey. They, why they why not got, stop there? Why not go get T Mac too? I mean. Huh? They 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 could. And while you at it, I see Moses Malone at a couple of games. Why not just <laughs> drag him on in, suit him up? I mean, they didn't try mm-hmm. some things. Isaiah just got I mean, fired. They, he ain't got no got, job. They got Jason Richardson. I mean, they went and got Turkaloo back. I guess. <laughs> Guru, you. I mean, guru, see, there you go. See, I you mean, they like guru. I'm just saying they try. Yeah, you know you can't wait to get 40. I mean, you keep yelling nah. out these 40 year old <laughs> players. Ain't nobody you name in their 20s. Hey, <laughs> don't, 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 don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having a vet play on your team. But I'd rather have a vet player on my team that done won a championship. I don't want no vet player on my team that's hey. chasing one. How did that work out for Carl Malone and um, Gary Payton, and, which Gary did eventually latch on and got him one in Miami? Hey, I think they were. But how did it work hey, in it, L.A., the Lakers, when they tried to latch on? I think if, if Carl wouldn't have got hurt, they, they would have matched up better with the Pistons. But see, what if, Carl just would, like that. what if Carl just would have retired while he was in Utah? And stop trying to chase the ring. Everybody Trying thought they was going to walk through the NBA. Just glide. What happened? No, nah, they was too old for that. Oh, now nah, they too old. Nah, they was too but the 40-year-olds today. No, nah, they was too they, what, old. What was they, 50? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gary and Carl, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You saw Gary oh, was man. chasing. He left with Shaq. Where him and Shaq go? You talking about who? Gary Payton. They went to Miami, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chasing but, but, them, but, but but Gary Payton had nothing to do with that championship for real. They didn't need him. He I was mean, no he was factor. A he was no he was factor. Just, he they was, he was coming in. He came. They in had that one two his punch. Job. No, no. They he had, came in, gave him twenty minutes, and then sat back down. G money. They yeah, had the one and two punch. Yeah, you're right. They had the one two, but he just came. Wade in. and Shaq, just like and they had Mike Walker. and Scotty. They had Walker too, though. Uh, he, was, on, he was playing good. Man. He was he out there was, shooting yeah, it. He, he was, was shooting it. Yeah, he he you know he had other things I, he, on his mind. Yeah, he did, but his he still got his ring. Was getting low. He had a hard uh, eight in Vegas. That was after that. <laughs> that was after that. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was shooting on that hard eight. He was he, said, <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for black jack. <laughs> he was looking. For, oh, man. But uh, what about the Pistons? Um. You think well, they should just continue to play hard, to, um, try to make the playoffs, or, you know. You know, well, let me tell you something about you. When you play sports, I hate people that do that. Tell the team, you know, to tank, you know, just give up. You know, I don't like that. Play hard every night. Fans are paying their hard-earned m- money to come see you. I mean, play well, hard every night. They you, are two spots out. They they got a shot. Yeah, but I'm not sure you think they I should. Mean, yeah, they, yeah. It's plenty games. They got. Time, yeah. They got. They got. Yeah, they got to win the really rest behind of New them. York. New York and Milwaukee. Milwaukee. So it's they, enough time left for. But I'm asking you, should they 
continue to play hard like they've been doing. Let's you know they have. They not out of it. Or they should they win. tank and just go for the playoffs? No, I'm not the playoffs, tank. but the draft. The draft. They shouldn't tank. You they think? should. They should keep playing hard. I agree. I agree. I. They should finish strong. I truly agree. If they want to be a better team next year, they exactly. Should, this they is should, something they can build off of. Yeah. Take the momentum into even, even if, if they even get knocked out the first round. No, even if they don't they make the, the playoffs, playoffs, huh? Even if they don't make the playoffs, I mean, now I don't see them making it. But what type? What type of um, schedule they got? Can you got their schedule in front of you with your little mm-hmm. video game? Let me see if I can pull it up. <laughs> Let me see your little video game now. Let me, let me uh, see, it. I can pull it see up. what's going in. Call in 313-868-3688. And if you miss past shows, check us out at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Once again, that's DetroitSportsJersey.com. They, well, they got a tough test tonight. And uh, I would like to thank all my Facebook friends out there for watching. And uh, also, I would like to thank... Uh, Thank the uh, mayor of Lincoln Park for dropping by at the uh, expo yesterday that we was out out in Lincoln Park. It was Lincoln Park. It was a wonderful success. We had fun out there. Met a lot of good people out there. So once again, I would like to thank the mayor for supporting, uh, you know, DetroitSportsJersey.com and also Well Card Health. She, uh, you know. Took some of those uh, discount cards and said she's going to pass them out, you know. So, once again, we'd like to uh, okay. thank the mayor of Lincoln Park. Very nice young lady. I think her name is Patricia Diaz, if I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I apologize. Okay, once again, let's get back to the uh, these Pistons. You say they got a hard game tonight or they got Miami? Yeah, they got Miami at 8 oh, o'clock. Oh, yeah, Miami. Mm, mm, mm. They do look kind of shaky. Then they got Orlando, but Orlando. that might be a win, though. Yeah. <laughs> or the way Orlando <laughs> playing, that might be a win. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and they got Charlotte. They really don't have, you know, if you take Chicago, they got coming up, Miami. Really, they don't have a bad schedule. The Indiana game might be tough. Philly might yeah. be tough. My man, um, Doug they Collins some, got them boys playing Philly. They playing play some playoff teams. Yeah, I mean, they got to fight for it. Yeah, exactly. You know, so but it's I not just, a bad, bad schedule, but it's, I they play, it's a 50 They, they got to play hard. One, two, three, hard. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They can't lose. Uh, 11 games. No, they, they only they five games back. 11 games left? Yeah. So I'm see. Let's say let's say Miami. That's one they lose. Let's I ain't say saying Chicago. They gonna lose no, that. no, no. Oh, G money, come, come on. on. You hey. know G money, come <laughs> on now. <laughs> I know you love them, but let's keep it real. I don't love that's, them. I'm just saying that's a L. A <laughs> that's, a, that's a L. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Miami ain't playing the best of ball right now. My man coming back. Um, April. Um, well, he's supposed to be playing today, ain't he? Um, yeah, Rose. Rose. So they got that game April the fifteenth. That's, that's an L. That's an L for sure. That's an L for sure. Um. So let's see. Let's say eleven. So they might got five. They got. I say the Indiana and Philly game it might be tough for them. But I don't. I can see them beating Toronto, Minnesota, Atlanta, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and Charlotte. And Orlando. I mean, they got a shot. So they might, you know, at 11, let me see what we had them going. They got to win two, some games. Three, four. So seven and four, you know, might get them in That there. might. You know, especially if they beat Milwaukee, they can gain ground on Milwaukee. You know, granted, yeah, granted they don't play um, New York no more. So, you know, they can gain some ground right there if they um, beat Milwaukee. And... New York, they starting back to having their problems again. You know, man, you know, New York killed me. One minute they hot, next minute they going through <clears> something. Well, well they, they ain't really going through nothing. You know, with the injuries, I ain't talking about no injuries. I mean, they still playing. They still playing. They still playing good you ball. Know, but uh, Mike Woodson got them playing good. Oh uh, well, yeah. He after uh, my man resigned or quit. Yeah, yeah. He, he do, got them playing him. defense yeah. and everything. Exactly. So you think he gonna keep that job? If, if New York want to win some games, they better keep him. Can you say Phil Jackson? <laughs> Man, he ain't going there. He ain't going nowhere. Mm-mm. He ain't going to get them guys to play no defense. Oh, okay. They're going to get to that triangle and he going to. And that's going to You be know Melo. He ain't going to be that. That's going to be that. <laughs> All right. <He's> well, <laughs> we come back. Uh, 
we're going to get back off uh, to the Tigers again, NBA Hall of Fame and the Masters and see what's going on out there. Unfortunately, Tiger ain't looking too good for Tiger. But I mean, he got a win. We yeah. didn't expect him to, to be Tiger of old to win yeah. six straight. Well, on, yeah. So when we come he got back, baby steps. Yeah, it's true. That's true, you know. Uh, so when we come back, we'll talk a little Masters, Red Wings, Tigers, Lions, the whole enchilada. Talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285. 5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800 285 5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Thank you very much. I would like to thank um, Well Card Health for um, you know sponsoring Detroit Sports Jersey. Um, once again, the guru is out. You know, trying to be Pope John the Paul. You know, <laughs> <laughs> walking around with his all white suit on. You know, yeah, purple gaiters. <laughs> I know how he do it. So once again, the guru will be back. Got his goals on. You know, I mean, let me tell the truth. He was just drunk, couldn't get up. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of covering for him. <laughs> oh, he want me to lie. You know? <laughs> that was the problem, you know, oh, people man. with him. You know, so you know, let me let me say something right quick. Uh, you know, the uh, Detroit Tigers just had their opening what last Thursday, downtown Detroit, Comerica Park. And I'm going through this article I see in the paper, and people say there's nothing to do downtown, right? You don't heard right. that before. There's yeah. nothing to do. How come I run across this article, and they have 25 bars and clubs down there? How many do people really need and want? I mean, how drunk do you want to get? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot to do down there. You know, I'm confused when people say there's nothing. I, I got it right here. 25 clubs and bars in downtown Detroit. So, I'm tired of there's people saying there's do. nothing to do down there. There's plenty to do down there. And then plenty. today, and then today it's going to be really packed. Oh, yeah. Red Wings at four. Tigers they, they at one. They play that season over with. No, they, they hockey. Playoffs. Not today. They just played last night. They played. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, that was at four then. That was at four yesterday. Send them to the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> they played. They played. Oh no, yeah, no. Was that, that, they, they played downtown the yeah, same yesterday time. Yesterday was off the hook. Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, downtown was. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was down, off the hook them. downtown. So there is a lot to do downtown Detroit. You know, so you know, I just get tired of people saying that when I, like, and I was even shocked when I ran across this article. To be honest with you, I didn't know it was that many down there. Twenty five clubs yeah. and bars. What you, you know, get it out of the Metro Times? Oh yeah, they got plenty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they advertise. Like I, said, I don't know how drunk y'all looking to get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you got some nice articles in there. If 50 bars is your limit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think 25 is enough to get drunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it real. That's the only reason you're going to a bar anyway. Right. You ain't Not going there to do we... no homework and look for no job. Right. You're going there to get drunk. And we got the casinos and stuff. There's yeah, plenty to do down there. And that ain't even on the list. I ain't even mentioned that. That ain't even on the list. Right. The casinos. Yeah. I ain't even mentioned Fox, the theater, and all yeah, the. Yeah, plenty know, to do. Yeah, man. So, you know, I get tired of, um, you know, people saying there's nothing to do down there. So. Let's talk about the Masters real quick. Uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, he tapered Tiger's off. He yeah. tapered off, but I mean, what you expect? Uh, you think they've got too much pressure on the boy to, uh, even though he just won one no, a couple of weeks ago. I don't ago. think so. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Because <laughs> everybody knows you, Tiger ain't the same Tiger, so I mean, come on. And why he ain't the same Tiger? They took him out of the square? Yeah. With the female? Yeah. Uh, 
he probably need to get them all back. Some I don't know. Well, Nicholson, he Phil Nicholson, he's coming in. You know, he's only a stroke back heading into the final round. So, well, Phil been playing good. Yeah, you know that's one of him and uh, Tigers. You know, arch rivals. So, yeah, all Tiger need to do is just go out there on a couple of dates. He'll be all right. You know, right. they let, they let him take him out of his square. You know, matter of fact, I think he tees off at uh, 11.30 here as I'm looking. So, think he can make a strong push for it? Or is he too far back? It's Tiger. He could, if he, if he get a run, he could. Mm. He got to get one hell of a run because. Uh, hey, he didn't done it before, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. He know. might he might hit the switch somewhere and it, it might, he might come back. It so, is the Masters. Hopefully, Tigers. Uh, I mean, uh, Tiger Wood. You know. I mean, he got to. Matter of fact, when you got to think about it. When I leave it here, is I'm tiger. gonna try to go home and catch something on TV and see. It is exactly. Tiger, though. You yeah. know what he's doing. You can't, you can't never count him out. Yeah, you, you can't know, count you him can't. He's just like Mike. You can't never count him out. You know. So that's one good thing. So but he ain't gonna be as dominant as he you was. You know, and I, and my thing is this, right? I don't care if he really wins. I just want him to get out of this. I don't expect him to win every, you know, tournament. You know, come on. I mean, that's what people expect. But yeah. let's keep it real like this, too. Tiger don't want enough in his career, for real, where he don't have to win no more. Well, now, yeah. yeah. Let's, keep, that, let's, yeah. Keep, yeah. let's keep yeah. it like if that, for real. If you want that record, he got to win know, a couple but more. Let's not talk about no record. Let's just talk about winning, period. Yeah. You know, they're like, he, he ain't never won nothing. Yeah. This guy done won four Masters. Yeah. And some U.S. Opens. He didn't want a lot. So he done won a he lot won now. A lot. So, 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 you know, people he talk. Is, he is known for yeah, that, for so that he, club. I mean, he done won. And, and, added, and he done it at a young age, too. Yeah. You know, so people don't sit back and act like he's and a he bum. And, and he's not old. And he's washed up. He don't have years. to. He's, but he's he not old in golf see, years. He don't have to win oh. nothing now. Yeah, you're right. He done won more than legends have won. Yeah, that done played for years. He is the he's he's you the greatest know. golfer. You could say that. All he got to do is you know straighten out his personal if he life. Catch he'll my be man. all right. You know he'll be all right. He got to catch my man though. Oh, uh, for that record, Jack Nichols, not yeah. Jack Nichols, uh, Arnold Palmer. Yeah, yeah. You could only you you to just tiger do you, do in him. Do he want that or do the people want that? They're putting pressure on him. I never heard him say he want that record. Man, you know he want that record. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. You you, he, that's probably why he's still playing golf. Saying, if he would have had that record by now, he'd probably be just retired after the after the whole scandal. I'm done with golf. If he had that record, well, he's not that far away. But I don't really think that's his main goal. Man, well, then what he playing for? I now think he then? just want to get out of the slump and win. Then what a is he? What is he playing? What is he playing for now? Then because he got everything. Well, actually, he got all of that. Well, actually, the reason he's playing, if you really want to be honest, is money. Not that he need it, but he got to keep playing to keep the endorsements coming in. Yeah. Once you retire and what? I'm not saying he's not gonna have no endorsement, but he won't have as many. No, nah, he ain't have yeah. just his name alone. You know what I'm saying? But he won't have as many. They want to see him out there. People come to see Tiger play. When Tiger was out and injured, golf was down. The ratings was down. They were yeah. suffering. Yeah. You know, people I mean, are coming happens. to see Tiger. That's what happens. You know, nobody else. Well, let me take that back. I ain't going to say got, nobody they got a else. Lot of, but, they got a lot of good but, players, but... but Tiger is the main attraction. Yeah. Tiger get paid whether he wins or not. He get yeah. two or three million dollars just to show up. Yeah. And that's another thing that uh, makes people mad. Like, well, he get more than what the purse is worth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just for showing up. You know? <laughs> so Tiger, Tiger, like, I win whether I lose. I win. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and that's what makes a lot of people mad, too, like. He getting more than what the purse might be hey, two million. They he gonna bigger give than him the three sport. To show up. <laughs> he bigger than the, he bigger than the sport. Well, I ain't gonna say that. I'm he just really saying. is. If you take Tiger away, you you gonna talk about golf? Well, see, that's his problem right there. That's I'm why. Just, are you gonna talk about golf? Are you even gonna think about golf if you take Tiger away? No, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I'm not. Exactly. No, no I'm not. Your interest you level is very low to go. Yo, it's low now. Let's keep it. So no tiger, no golf. Let's, that's that's what that means. It, let's that's keep it I, real. It's that's real the, low now. See, that's the highest it go. Just you tiger. <laughs> exactly. So you know, um, hopefully, um, you know, 
If he don't win this one, hopefully he'll win the next. Like I said, he don't want four Masters. Yeah. So there's no pressure on him to win. You what he would love, to, of course he would. Yeah. When you're a competitive person like Tiger, Mike, Barkley, all of them, of course you want to win. Yeah, you have. But yeah, once you don't want, I'll give you a perfect example, right? Would Mike have love? Of course, he would have loved to, you know, won another championship with the Wizards. But was that pressure on him to win it? No. Because he done had, he got six rings. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's that was not like he was coming out of retirement trying to chase one. No, he was yeah, coming he would to play, have love cause, cause, He was coming to play. Yeah, because he, he, he's a competitive person. So, he yes, he would to, have I love. I don't think he would have eaten. He would on. have love to one one. He knew the odds and chances were slim. Oh, man, come on now. <laughs> Jordan wasn't that good when he came back. That's why the choices were, <laughs> were slim. Well, come on now. Slim. <laughs> And then the it's team wasn't that good it was from the get go. It was not. So come on, slim. I think that was a money decision for the franchise. We got to sell tickets. You think they hired him and told him going out? Well, no, go out there and play. Then we'll hire you later on. Mm. Pretty like much that, but, um, behind the doors. Pretty you know, much, deals, yeah. Just bad executive play going one wrong. Year, and then we we'll <laughs> bad <laughs> we'll executive. You, we'll make you the man. That's probably his. Hey, that's listen. probably that was probably the remainder of his two years left. <laughs> you play them two years. You play, he play <laughs> on his executive. <laughs> you play this one year, and then you come in and mess up the franchise <laughs> by drafting Kwame Brown. <laughs> and then you got to play with him. <laughs> For two years, <laughs> <laughs> they said, "Oh man, Mike, I mean, Mike, hey, Mike, though, Kwame was supposed to be the man, though. Yeah, that's Kwame fault. He didn't live up to the hype. Do you think uh, the boy from Kentucky, um, Anthony Davis, will be a bust or a success? Three well, I things. think, I Go think, ahead. I think the first thing he got to gain some weight. Okay, and then that that's pretty much it for me. He he really got to gain some weight. Yeah, put some muscles on. I agree with you. But I think that's small. his main thing. You know what I think? If he have the right mindset, the right coaching, and the right support behind him, I think this boy going to be the real deal. I mean, he really you is know, the real deal. Know. He block shots. Now, let me he play D. He came score. Up and, uh, he just got to put some weight on him. You know how him. Kevin Durant come up and pull with the three? You know how he bring the ball up and then he just pull with yeah. Nah, I think if he can master that, he can be another Kevin Durant. Well, he can handle the ball. Yeah, because he was a guard. He can handle yeah, the ball. That's what I'm saying. That's what but I'm saying. But he don't have that jump shot like Kevin Durant do. Uh, well. He can, like you said, he like to get down low and bang and get hit. Right. But I'm just saying, if he can add that to his arsenal, that wouldn't hurt. Well, if he get a – if he get a, a – well, he, he got a decent mid-range. I mean, it ain't bad. But – do you agree or do you <laughs> this nah, week? If he nah, came up need, and could nah, put up, you need like him Kevin around the, the basket. Are you serious? Nah, you need him around the basket. Yeah, you go slipping back into the guru. Nah, yeah, nah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, yeah. ain't nobody you the one slipping yeah. like the guru. <laughs> Davis out there by the three point hey, line. Hey, y'all, I got the free agent sitting nah, next you got, to me. You trying to, the guru. He trying to, he trying to entice me you to say to Davis shooting threes. Add that to his arsenal and come up with the three. He needs to stay by the rim. They could make it like. Kevin Durant, that would hurt him. No, it wouldn't hurt him. It'd make him. Saying, it said, wouldn't hurt him. It, but but no, nah, that ain't his game. I know he get down there and he like to, you know, he got bang. a bang. Yeah, he, he a like big man. Bang. Put yeah. him down where he needs to be. He get his rebound. Block. We shot. don't need another sheet because then next <laughs> thing you know, he'll be sitting out there all the time, and we ain't got time for that. <laughs> we ain't got time. He ain't gonna never go down. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. He already he, can handle the he ball. He's going to set up shot outside <laughs> right. the three at 7 1. Yes. <laughs> he posted outside yes. the three. <laughs> so don't even get him started with that. <laughs> we don't need oh, that. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got great young big men. Keep them down low where they need to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Because really, there's no more dominant big it men isn't. in the league. You got Dwight Howard, but he crying. Somewhere. He cried too much. Come so, on, and then you yeah. can say Andrew Bynum, but he yeah, he, 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 he trying he's, to shoot threes, and this is what exactly. <laughs> oh, they three he shot the other day, <laughs> and then he said he wasn't sorry he shot it. <laughs> I'm adding it to right. my arsenal. <laughs> say that's a prime example right there. <laughs> Oh man, you right. You on point with right. that one. You right about yeah, that. And, 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 and the guru juice rubbing off on me. Yeah, him add that. Yeah. All right, uh, we gonna just, take just because uh, you got it in your game. 
we're going to take another break here. We're going to, you know, wrap up the show, give uh, some final words, and uh, uh, feel free to call in at 313-868-3688. Thanks. All righty, then. Now we're back. <laughs> Yeah, I guess See how that works. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, uh, you gonna check out the Tigers game today? Of course. Why oh, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to any games this year? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find a way. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna check out. Me, I said that last year. I never got to one, but uh, I'm gonna um, check out a few myself. You they know. might be sold out every every game the way they playing. Yeah, this is true. This is people true. might be skipping work to go see them. Well, well you know what? It, I guess it depends on the team too that they play. Also, like the big name team. You can, I don't think so. You know, I don't really. We got that team. We got a team of our own just to see. We haven't even seen this the the full potential of our team. All righty then. Speaking of teams, when we come back, <laughs> me, <laughs> me and the free agent, we're gonna wrap some things up and. Uh, Hopefully, you know, call in 313-868-3688. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, thank you once again. Thanks, WellCard Health. Once again, that's WellCard Health. Great organization out here helping people to save a few dollars. All right, um, free agent. Let's talk about this uh, NBA Hall of Fame. I would like to congratulate um, Reggie Miller, you know. Mm -hmm. A great I, shooter. You think uh, he deserve it? Yeah. If you're going to put somebody in there with who ain't won a ring, yeah, he was a, he Yeah, was a, Don he got Nelson. The numbers. What about this guy about the name? Well, I guess he did win, didn't he, Ralph Sampson? I ain't never seen him play, so. I mean, you know, I but I think he won a ring, didn't he? He won a ring or two. Oh, I, ain't, I ain't never. I oh, think he did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, he did. He did, um, he did one more. Jamal, Jamal Wilkins. That was my boy with the Lakers, so he had an unorthodox shot, but that boy could shoot that three, though. He could. Oh, man, he could shoot threes. Like, that was back in the Magic <clears> days when he was with Magic. That's, know, why Cooper, Cooper. That's why he in there. That's why he in there. Man can shoot, though, for real. He was deadly with that three. And you got magic. You know, so what What would you think about the Hall of Fame? Do you think, I mean, I don't think everybody in there should be in there. Me either. I'll be honest with you. I don't think Joe Dumar should be in there. I'm sorry. Why? Why should he? He was a great player. No, he wasn't no great player. I'm sorry. He wasn't no great player. You know who was a great player? Who was a great player? Dr. J was a great player. He in there, though. He shouldn't be next. Dumar shouldn't be next to him. Michael Jordan was a great player. He shouldn't be in there next to uh, – Dumar shouldn't be in there next to him. Magic was a great player. Bird was a great player. I mean, Bill Russell, okay, great he, player. He, he was, was never on none, none of their levels. He used Could to he lock play? Jordan up. Yes. He used to lock Jordan up. Okay, Jordan. He locked. He won two. He he beat Jordan before Jordan won in six. Isaiah carried that team. Ah, uh, so now it was Dennis just Isaiah. Oh, okay, so John Dumars didn't have no no parts of that. And Ashley, when Dumars was, had no uh, parts you know, of that. I tell you, who had a part of that? They really screwed out of that. But Dumars had no uh, part of that. Yeah, he yeah, he could. Play. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. He could play, but he's no Hall of Fame player. Why ain't he? He won. Several all defender teams. He I'm won sorry. two rings. He's just no Hall of Fame player to me. Yeah. That's my personal opinion. Okay. Um, there's lots more than I could probably name. Not so what right. about Chris Mullen there? No, he shouldn't be in either. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Keep naming some more. 
He I named it some more. That was the questionable one. I only had like yeah, why you he wanted, was in yeah, there. Now you think he should belong in <laughs> no, there? All right, no then I was about to say. Guru. I don't even know what he. I don't know what he ever. That's done. what I'm. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. It's I mean, tainted. he had what one good year it's in Golden tainted. State. And I tell you, some other uh, players put up I some good numbers. Go in there, or they might already be in there. That I don't think. Well, I know they're gonna be in there eventually. Was they good players together? Well, nice one and two punch. But was they great players that changed the game? And I'm talking John Stockton and Carl Malone. Should they belong in the Hall of Fame? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, they should. Cream Abdul Jabbar changed the game. Oscar hey, well, Robinson if you, if you, changed the game. I'm just saying, as a tandem, a, Stockton and Malone was the best pick and roll players ever. Oh, God. But they, yeah, but they never won nothing. And that's another Hey, they, they went up against Jordan. Charles Barkley. The they man. went up was against Jordan, Magic. Bird, you, all the same players you've been naming. But they me, was good at the time. My thing is they this, just, right? I mean, hey. when you a great player, such as the Ewings, the Hold Barclays. Hold on, Ewing ain't never win it. Barkley Bar- ain't never that's win what, it. That's why I'm about to get to my point. You shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. But, but what if you go up against great players, the the, the Hall of Fame? you saying, saying there's but, some bomb players that got rings they should they be in that. Bum no, players, no, 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 no. I'm about to give you one. There's a bomb player that got a ring should be in that shit. Like my man that played for the um, Lakers a couple of years ago, Morrison. No, because he got a ring, should be in the Hall of Fame. No, just because he got a ring. No, what I'm talking about as far as great players like those, like the Barclays, the Ewings. To me, like I tell the guru, the bottom line to me is championships. I don't care about your personal stats. That don't mean nothing. So That's only saying, good for you and your so contract like, to I get like, bonus. I put it like this. I put it like this. So if you saying if you if you ain't gonna if you if they ain't had no numbers, I just say if they ain't had no numbers and you just went off rings that they just if they didn't have no numbers. Well, what if you the just numbers took mean numbers? nothing without okay? Rings. Then if no no, I'm just saying if, if you had no numbers, you wouldn't put Barkley on your team. Which, no. So you don't want Barkley on your team. Nope. If you didn't, if he can't win me no championship, no. I'm sorry, no. So you wouldn't want Carl Malone and Stockton on your team? If he can't give team. me no championship, no, no, neither one, no. I'm looking for championship. Okay, so you don't want Ewing? No. If he can't bring me no championship, no. But he's supposed to be one of if the – If he – I don't care what he's supposed to be. I'm looking for championships. Now, you know, voted. What do you think they was looking for when they brought them uh, players to the team? What do you think Phoenix was looking for when they brought Barkley to Phoenix from Philadelphia? They was looking for a championship. They weren't looking for no numbers. They was looking for a ring. He got him there, and who did he run no, up no, against? He got, did he, he win it? Who did he run up against? They don't They don't care about if he got him there, did they win it? Well, who did he run up against? Did they win it? No, nah, they Case didn't. closed. He went and up against Jordan. Bring, who? He went up against Jordan. Okay, that's cool. That, that They didn't bring him over there for numbers. I mean, Call I, Phoenix right now, and they will right. tell you they brought him over there to win a ring. You're right. Why did Joe bring um, uh, Iris in here? To win a ring. Thank you. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it where you calling from. Country Jeffrey. Nashville. All right, Country Jeffrey. Uh, we got a few minutes. How you doing? Just woke up, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't like you just uh, got off stage <laughs> with the temptations of nobody. We know you just woke up. So what can we do for you? I win something that guru money. Guru out today. He out being a fake Christian. <laughs> <laughs> we got the free agent sitting in today. What is that? <laughs> That's the free agent. He's a new member of the family here. You know, country ain't been around. You say what? What's his name? Free agent. Free agent. Oh, that's his name, free agent? Yes. He got some free money? <laughs> he said he got some bottles for you to try to get his car. No free money, no free money. I got the one new some bottles. <laughs> now, the guru, the guru will be back next week. <laughs> next week. Next week to give away his money. He out there playing Easter egg hunt today? Yeah, yeah, he out there walking around in his fake white suit with his bunny yeah, ears yep. on, you know. Walking up in the Baptist church with the watchtower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way, no money today. No money today. Now, we ain't got nothing for you. What can I say? Try next door. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody next door. You say what? 
Ain't nobody near next door to me. Oh, well. What'd he say? There ain't nobody next door. Oh, and nobody live next door to you? No. Well, try the other side. <laughs> <laughs> try downstairs. No. <laughs> what? Well, Country Jeff, we're about to get off the air here, but we appreciate you calling in. But call in next week. The guru will be back with all his monies. <laughs> right. He might be broke. He might, look, might be broke. Can he get back? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, he got a stick in the collection plate. Oh yeah, you know he gonna you know become a five finger discount when the plate is passed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Country Jeffrey, call in next week. We appreciate you calling in. All right, sir. All right, you take it. Oh, yeah. All right, have a good one. Happy Easter Happy to Easter. you. Happy Easter. Okay, bye. Bye. Final words, uh, free agent. Uh, just have a safe and happy Easter out there in Detroit. All right, once again, I'm uh, riding the coattail of the free agent. Have a happy Easter. The guru will be back, you know, if you don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, you know, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this happy Easter Sunday, beautiful day in the Motor City. Go Tigers, and we will see you next week. I'm your host, Wiz, with the free agent sitting in for the guru. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Sports Jersey. Until next week, same place, same time, Sundays at 10 a.m. on FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live Radio with host Will, co-host the Water Cooler Guru and the free agent. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM 881 WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight Sports Talk. No professionals here. Have a great week. FM 88.1 FM 88.1 FM 88.1 WHPR The Highland Station